Welcome back to Mini Monologue. So this week we're going to do the Death Guard Plague Marine Champion. We're going to put him together and we're going to put one of the Pox Walkers together. Now earlier in the week I did a Death Guard Focus where I looked at the actual stats for these as well as talked about who the Death Guard actually were. So if you want to see that, that should pop up in the corner in the middle in a minute. And also if you haven't seen the unboxing for First Strike, that'll pop up too. So do check those both out if you've not watched them already. Obviously we're on a 40k month so we're doing a lot of 40k at the moment. Um, so in order to do this, obviously these are plastic ones, so you'll need a pair of plastic cutters. That's all you need for these because they're, they're easy to build models. Um, obviously these are from my essential set, they're still going strong. Um, I've had a couple of questions about the essential set um, recently about paints drying out. Now if your paints have dried out and they're brand new out of the box, take them back to Games Workshop, I'm sure they'll replace them. If you've had them a while, unfortunately three mill plots do tend to do that if you've opened them. A couple of mine have done it. Um, and of course by then I've already moved on to the larger pots that you can get from Games Workshop. But anyway, on to taking these guys out. So I obviously need these instructions. Um, for the first guy we're doing, which is the Death Guard Champion, I need numbers one to five. Obviously they're numbered much like the Shades by videos were. So I'm gonna do that first off of this one. I'll pop the Pops Walkers to one side for now. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna cut, cut out all the bits and hopefully it will speed up so you, it won't take so long in between. Hopefully you're still with me. So the first thing to do is take this part of the model here and put this bit, which is his face, onto there. And obviously that just pushes together like so. And that actually went together really well. You can't see any any kind of lines or anything, which is really good. Obviously when you cut this one out, make sure you leave these two arm sticks on. I left mine on. Make sure you do, because um, otherwise you won't be able to get the arms on. The next section to put together is actually the two arms. Um, he has a sort of power fist in one hand, which goes there. I believe I can get that on. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, it does go on. For some reason it's gone. Yeah, it goes backwards like that. <laughs> don't know why it goes backwards like that, but I don't know if you can spin it at all. Oh, you can spin it a little bit. But I, can't, I can only spin it up to about there. So I'm going to put his arm like that. And then his other arm. goes like that. So he's really beginning to take shape now. And then it's just his backpack. Really like how these guys look. Love the green plastic, really sets them off. And then the backpack goes on. Oh, might help if I get it the right way around. On there, like that. Obviously make sure all of the components are solidly put together, but that is the Death Guard Marine. He goes on a 32 mil base, which I'll do in a minute, but I'll move on to the Pox Walker now. But that's the Death Guard Mar Marine Champion. So let's get straight on with the Pox Walker. Um, for the Pox Walker, I need numbers, I need the other sprue, which is this one. So I need this sprue here, if I can get it to, yep, this one. And I need numbers, 9, 10, and 11. So I just need to work that out and I'll chop those out next. Um, there's number 9. 10. It's that part of the model there. So I'll get on with that now and hopefully you can, it'll do this quick spin round again. See you in a minute. It's two bits to go together, these two bits. Obviously I haven't pushed it fully yet and they just need pushing together like so. There's a little bit of gapping in this. Oh no, hang on. Really make sure you push them in tight, then the gapping disappears. So that's the start of him and then he's just got his other arm which goes on like, I can get it to go on. How's it supposed to go? It's supposed to go forward like that. 
like I say, with a lot of these, you've really got to push real hard. And these ones go on a 25 mil base. I haven't got any of the bases out, but that's how to put the pox walker together. So they are pretty easy to build. Um, be careful cutting them out so you don't cut off pegs that you might need because that's the only thing I've noticed is that there are pegs on a lot of these models which are quite long. So make sure that you don't chop them off by mistake otherwise you'll have to get the glue out and glue them together. But that's the Pox Walker and the Marine Champion. Hope you've enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time where we do a Primaris focus. So who are the Primaris? And then later that week, I'll be popping the models together. There's also mid-month news, which I think is next week as well. So plenty to keep these guys coming in the next few weeks. I'll see you soon.